All right, here with Meadow Bridge Coach Wayne Wright and uh, Coach, uh, talking to your uh, running back, Caden Sims, had 402 yards last year against uh, Clay Mattel. I think he, he told me it came close to uh, Jake Parker's record. And anybody who knows about Jake Parker, that was a good back. Yeah, he was. You know, uh, I, I talk a little bit about Jake and, and the things that he did when he was here. You know, he was a big muscular kid that had deceptive speed for his size. And, and Caden's a lot like that. You know, you don't see many kids that come through at six foot, 200 plus pounds that, you know, run a four six four seven forty. Um, you know, which is not burner speed, but for a big running back like that in single leg football, it, it's sure good speed. Now, he told me the secret to his success that night was you guys stopped at Arby. Yeah, we... I mean, uh, you know, tell that story about the Arby. You know, uh, we... You know, I look for places to eat as we travel and things, and, and we'd went to Clay Patel several years ago and uh, stopped at Clark's Burger and ate at Arby's and ended up... We, we got up there and got ended up getting beat, but, you know, when I look at the distance and... and you know, I try to time it to where we're, we got a little time to digest and that sort of thing before you roll in. And and I, I said, well, we're just going to get Arby's again. And, and it was a very pain, painless process. You know, I call, I pre, pre-place our orders. And honest to goodness, we walk in and we're, everybody's fed and ready to go within 30 minutes. We're way ahead of schedule. And, uh, you know, we had a good time there at Arby's and we, we ended up going to Clay, going on to Clay Patel and, and, and Caden really just went off. Um, Especially yeah. the second half. I think yeah, said it was 6 nothing at the half. Yeah, it was it was too tight in the first half. Uh, you know, we'd made some mistakes and things and, and you know, turned the ball over and downs a couple of times and ended up in coming out the second half. And I, I, I think the first two plays we ran were touchdowns for 60-plus yards. Uh, you know, so a lot of that was coming in long runs. Uh, but, you know, that's part of the game. You know, 402 yards and six touchdowns in one night is uh, a pretty good night for any young, any young man. Is it, uh, is it nice to be back? You and I have talked about this over the years. Uh, you kind of went to the uh, air raid, and uh, I guess it's okay for Coach McClinic to come back now you're running. <laughs> do, you, do you like being back in the run and where you're able to run the ball like Meadowbridge team? Well, you know, we saw signs of it. Um, you know, the Clay Patel game was a big one for us, and there were a couple other games through the stretch that, that we were able to dominate up front and just run the ball down people's throat. Um, but, you know, truthfully, to, to be successful running the, game, running the ball, you have to you have to dominate the line of scrimmage, and, and we weren't always able to do that. Um, you know, all of our linemen, essentially, we, we lost one, uh, but majority of them are back and a year older, a year stronger. And a year more mature, um, so so we hope we hope that we can see that on a more consistent basis going into this year. Um, but yeah, being able to run the football effectively like we did of the days of old is a very nice nice deal. You know, we went through a stretch here where we had to really learn about some air raid and how to throw the ball around and, and try to become successful with that. And you know, we had a playoff team there in '21 uh, that was able to throw the ball all around, and you know, we probably threw it 90 percent of the time that year. Um, and, and we're hoping we can still mix a little bit of that back in, uh, you know, be a little more multi-dimensional than what we have been um, because we threw the ball all the time then and, and we ran the ball 90-95% of the time. So if we can if we can kind of be a little more multi-dimensional, I hope we can give people fits. You have a shirt, and on the back of it, it famously says, yeah, it, it, if it ain't the power eye, it ain't football. Uh, you know, and, and we lived and, and, and died by that motto around here for a lot of years. Um, you know, and, and the fact of the matter is we, we went through a stretch there where we just kept kept producing good running backs and, and linemen that could block for them. Uh, and, and it just got to the point there where we did have to shift gears a little bit, but I, I think I told you back then, we weren't going to be too far removed from it. Uh, and it turns out you, you weren't. And, and we're, we weren't. You know, we're, we're going to be pretty big across the front. Uh, we got big running backs, and, and we're going to try to pound the football. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. Your back, your uh, lineman look huge. you got a guy 6'7". Probably rolls up in here about 300, at least 280, I'd say. Yeah, he's 380, actually. 380. I knew he was yeah. big. I didn't want to, you know, that's big guy. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it just looks like you've got some guys now that uh, kind of harken back to the days of old down here. It is. You know, it, this reminds me of, of about the 2012-2013 teams. You know, we had big linemen back then. Uh, you know, we had Kyle Killen and, and Todd McClanahan and, and some, some big guys, James Kincaid. Uh, those guys played were, were big linemen for us, and, and then had the Parker kid at tailback, 
Uh, and this team reminds me a lot of that. You know, we, we got Charles Bragg at 6'7", 380. Uh, Jaden Butcher at 6'1", 290 at the other tackle. Um, and these aren't guys that are just big guys. They look like football players. They do, you know, and there, there's some size in between those two tackles. Uh, you know, all three of our running backs that dot the eye are 200-plus pounds. Back to the power eye. And, and we're going we're gonna to try to utilize that. Um, and, and to be that big, they also have fairly decent speed. So, you know, we're, we're hoping we're going to give some people fits. What are your expectations for this team? Well, is this a playoff type thing? You know, I think realistically when I look at this team, uh, I, I feel like we're, we're definitely, definitely a playoff team as long as we stay healthy and we, we play together. You know, we, we talk every day about uh, cohesiveness and, and playing as a team. And, you know, we, we can't afford any kind of jealousy or anything like that within our own nucleus. Uh, and as long as we do the little things right and, like I say, stay healthy, I definitely think we'll be in the thick of things come November. Who are, you, who are your other backs? I think Trip Chip was probably one of your it, backs. Trip Rolls. He'll, he'll, I mean, yeah, Trip Rolls. I don't know. He's been my fullback, and, and I'm moving to a slot back, uh, which will we'll be in a, the old Maryland stick eye a lot, and, and he'll be the up back in that. And, and Bo Weichel is a sophomore running back uh, that will, is moving to fullback. Uh, he played some tight end for us last year. Um, and, and we lost a running back at last the, to graduation. So I felt like it was the right move to move Bo in there. And, and again, you know, that, that gives us three guys that are, that are 200 plus pounds uh, in that backfield. You know, Braden Thomas, our quarterback at, at about 140 pounds. Uh, he's definitely the small one of the crew. Uh, but but he he does a good job trying to step up and be a leader, uh, and and kids sort of sort of pay attention. Um, when you look at the schedule, is it is it a good one for you? Well, it it is. You know, I, you always like to think that you maybe have one or two easy games where you can kind of breathe a little bit. But I don't know that that's on our schedule. You know, I, I think it's I think it's ten games where we'll have to prepare well each and every week uh, and do the little things right, play good fun, fundamental football. Uh, but but in the, at the end of the day, I, I think there's 10 winnable football games on our schedule. Uh, when does the sponsorship with RB start? I mean, <laughs> I mean are, you, well, are you gonna are you gonna let uh, like ask for an Arby's down here so you can get them? Well, uh, I, I, Hayden to, over there. And, I would sure I would sure like to see Arby's move into town. Uh, you know, <laughs> if anybody's out there that wants to put Arby's in Meadowbridge, West Virginia, we we probably support you. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, I know Caden Sims would. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> hey, Coach, I appreciate the time. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it.